Hey everybody, this is Pastor Craig from Crossroads Community Church, and I know that we live in crazy times right now as uh, people are panicked, a lot of people are very fearful about what's happening in the world around us. And so as a church, we wanted to kind of highlight a couple of things, and the first one we wanted to highlight is just seeking God uh, during this time. And so we're going to be doing some devotions online that you can check in and do that with. Another thing I want to encourage you to do is just to look around for people around you that might need a hand. So whether that's neighbors who might need you to help make a grocery run, uh, people that have kids home right now, and they're like, man, what do I do with this? And maybe you can jump in and help with that too. But to be looking around for how you can serve. Um, when my kids are home in seasons like this, one of the things that seems like we do a lot is we start building forts. And so they'll start rummaging up furniture from around the house and getting blankets and building these forts where they can crawl into and it's kind of like their place. Now with their forts, it's, it's not a very safe place, right? Anybody could rip through uh, these blankets and furniture. But I think for us too, there's a sense of this, right? Where we feel threatened and we're looking for like, where do we go? Like, where do we run? And uh, sometimes it feels like going to the store and stocking up on toilet paper. Uh, but I think we all know that we're looking for something deeper than that. And so I wanted to point your attention today to Psalm 46. Here's what it says there, Psalm 46. It says, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam. The idea here in the text is like the idea that the creation of God is upset, is acting in a way it wouldn't normally act. And, uh, and so what do we do in the midst of that? It says, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, and now look at this, it goes on now in verse four and talks about the city of God, the people of God, and this river which symbolizes God's presence. And uh, look at what it says, verse four. It says, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. You know, when we're looking for like, where do we run uh, in the midst of a crisis like this? Where do we go? Um, I think scripture's teaching us like to run to the Lord, that he is the one we can trust. He is our fortress. Uh, this is a great psalm of which the hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, was written about this. And so I encourage you in this time, be praying for people around you and be remembering like God's strength comes uh, from knowing and walking with him. And so cling to him, him in the midst of this uh, and cling to your, your friends and your neighbors and uh, take care of them as well. Let me pray for us. All right, Heavenly Father, I pray for what's happening in our world right now, and I pray that we would cling to you in the midst of this crisis, uh, that you would use your people to be ambassadors for you, even in the midst of, of times that can be quite fearful. Lord, we pray over the city of Chicago, we pray over Carol Stream and its neighbors, uh, that you would do something amazing in the midst of this, and that your people would hear your voice, cling to you, and that you would give us a peace that comes beyond understanding. Lord, we pray for this today, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, everyone have a great day and a great week and uh, look tomorrow for another uh, devotion here with us, will you? All right, take care.